Hi folks, welcome back. I hope you're all doing well. So like you might have heard by now, ChatGPT released an API last week. And of course, since I am an Emacs native, I did a small weekend project to try to invoke this API from inside the comfortable confines of Emacs. The name of this model is GPT 3.5 Turbo, and it is ridiculously cheap. It's two bucks for one million tokens. It's 10x cheaper than the existing Da Vinci models. So the big difference in the API is that it lets you specify your input prompt as a chat transcript. So it lets you say what the user said and then what the bot said and then what the user said and so on. And each of those is uh, an element in a dictionary, essentially. So that's the big difference. With the text of Vinci models, your input prompt was just one simple string, whereas now it's a string that's broken up into this transcript style. All right, so let's switch over to Emacs. Now, one of the first things we have to do is create a format which lets us distinguish between what was said by the user versus what was said by the assistant. And here you can see I've created a really simple format which uses these demarcators like percent user percent or percent assistant percent to demarcate these chunks of text. I've also made a simple derived mode of markdown mode because the replies from chat GPT are in markdown mode. So it helps to see those replies formatted as markdown. And we have some simple key bindings in this mode meta previous or meta p and meta n will let you scroll between questions and replies between each section of this conversation so as you can see here i'm having a conversation about some emacs lisp it's telling me some code snippets for how to invoke commands on regions and so on and if i want to ask a new question i say percent user and I can say something like, thanks, that was helpful. And meta return is the thing that sends it off to the API and it comes back with an answer. The way this works behind the scenes is that most of the heavy lifting is done by this very short Python script. And I'll have links to all this code as a gist in the description of the video. And all this Python script does is takes a chat transcript in that format I just described on standard input and it calls the OpenAI ChatGPT API and prints the response on standard output. And then on the Emacs Lisp side, we have a simple Emacs Lisp wrapper which invokes that Python script I just showed you. It sends it the entire contents of the current buffer, your chat GPT buffer, as standard input to that Python script. And then whatever that Python script sends to standard output, which is the reply from ChatGPT, it inserts into the current buffer. So that's fairly straightforward. And, and over here, you can see I've defined a small derived mode. This is a derived mode of markdown mode, which lets me show these demarcators as keywords, which is why you were seeing those in a special face. All right, so I'll have links to all this code as gists in the video description. And that's how I use ChatGPT from inside Emacs. I hope that's helpful and I'll see everyone next week. Thank you very much.